Here's a tablet that's being rolled out to the full-time staff at the Democrat and Chronicle. I'll just take to take you to a first few steps just to get you set up. After opening the box, you're going to have three pieces. You have your tablet, your power cord, and a power source. Uh, the cord itself can actually go into either this power or it can go directly into your PC or, or uh, laptop. Uh, the charge takes roughly about 30 minutes and the charge will last, the tablet will last uh, four to five hours. Uh, when the tablet first comes on, you're going to notice that it's, in, it's already in the setup mode. Uh, so it's first asking you for the, which language you want to use. We'll start with English. Uh, you'll see next will be how you're going to connect. It should see the Gannett uh, corporate login, which is the top one, the guest login, which will be used by the carriers, and then it's going to pick up any hotspots that are nearby. Uh, we do have a premier um, services that is next door to us, and it's picking up their uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, so you're going to log in using the corporate one. Uh, right here, uh, it's asking for identity and password and anonymous identity. Uh, your identity is the same login that you use for your system login. And then your password is also the password you use for your system login. And then after you put that, you'll see a little connect button here. Uh, if you see that it's obtaining an IP address, uh, you are being connected to the uh, intranet, basically the Gannett intranet. So right now it's connecting to the Wi-Fi here in the warehouse. Uh, these are tablets are produced uh, in association with Google, so that's why you'll always see a bunch of Google information for you. Uh, at this point, we'll go with no. Uh, again, we're just going through the setup part. Uh, here you can put your first last name where you can personalize your tablet. Uh, I'm just going to put A and then A again. Uh, your tablet will open up. Um, this is what it should basically look like. Um, here you can basically can customize your home page, your front page, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can put your favorite apps that you want to use right up here uh, so they're easily accessible. Okay, in our lower right hand corner we have Google Chrome. Uh, this is basically uh, Google's version of the Internet Explorer. Uh, so we're going to grab some applications and start building a desktop that basically fits the carrier. Um, the first thing I think would be weather. So I'm going to type in weather. And you'll see weather.com shows up. So we'll press that hyperlink right there. And we're going to put Rochester, New York in. Okay, Rochester weather shows up. In the upper right hand corner, you're going to see these three dots. When you press these three dots, you're going to see there's uh, various things that you can do with this home page. Uh, we're going to ask to add it to our home screen. And now you'll see an icon that comes up for Rochester, New York. So when they turn on the uh, tablet, they can just go directly to Rochester weather. Uh, the next app I want to add is called uh, Voice Search. At the lower bottom corner, lower center, we have a circle with six dots. When you press that, it brings you all the apps that are available on the tablet currently. Uh, here we have Voice Search. Uh, we just press the button, hold it up, and we drag it into place. The neat thing about this app, uh, hands-free device, just click on it. 
160 Culver Road, Rochester, New York. Here is a map of 160 Culver Road, Rochester. And it pulls up the uh, map. Uh, we have our Git directions. And from your location to 160 Culver Road. This would be handy if you were looking for an address for a skip or couldn't find one on your Route Smart. Next thing we want to add is Route Smart itself. So again, we'll pull up Google Chrome. Uh, we're going to empty out the URL to start to putting it in. And we're going to put Rochester. You can already see that it's there for us. Uh, here, certificates, basically it's a security feature. Uh, we're just going to cancel that out. And we, here we have the login for RouteSmart. Again, now we want this to be saved to the desktop so we don't have to currently uh, keep adding, typing in the URL. So again, we'll hit the three dots at the top. And we're going to tell it to add it to our home screen. And you can see now we have an icon for RouteSmart. Now that we have RouteSmart on our uh, desktop, we would just pull up the application itself. It would give us the login information. Again, cancel out the certificate. Uh, we want to do our login. Already has mine in there. Uh, password. And login. Here we have our reports that we usually would see. You can see it's a little differently because uh, this is basically a mobile device. So we'd have what route you want to pull in. And here's all the routes for the 66. So we'll go to 686, view. And it started in the download 